The Stormers suffered another blow to their playoff aspirations when they lost to the Lions at Newlands on Saturday. With the Jaguares beating the Sharks on Friday, Robbie Flex side are in all sorts of trouble as Super Rugby heads towards the business end. Missed the action? You can catch up with how it all happened with the full text of our live blog here. Bulls 28-38 Brumbies It's a grim weekend for South Africa's Super Rugby franchises. Despite starring the match well, the Bulls suffered a defeat against the Brumbies at Loftus Fers Weld on Saturday. Catch up with a blow-by-blow -blow account of how it all went down with the full text of our live blog over here. Reds 15-18 Highlanders It's normally a tight affair when these two teams clash and Saturday was no different with another humdinger at the Suncorp Stadium as the Highlanders snatched victory in the dying seconds. It has been a bogey ground for the New Zealanders who have never managed a win in Brisbane in five attempts. Lima Sopoag of the Highlanders and John o Lance of the Reds each put their teams on the board with penalties before making way for it to Vita Lee try in the 26th minute to give the Kiwis the lead. But Brandon Panga Mosa hit back for the hosts to gain a two-point advantage with Lance taking care of the conversion just before halftime. The Reds extended their lead with Hamish Stewart touching down in the 45th minute only for Lance to miss the target. Persistence eventually paid off for the Highlanders when Liam Squire, back from injury, leveled matters in the 58th minute. There would be no further additions to the scoreline until a 78th Sopawaga penalty to give the Highlanders a last-minute victory which keeps them in fourth place in the New Zealand Conference. Chiefs 39-27 Waratahs The Chiefs kept their impressive home record intact with a narrow victory over the Waratahs at the AMG Stadium on Saturday morning. Trailing 0-14 until the 14th minute, the Chiefs, boosted by the return of their All Black Stars, turned it around with Brody Ritalik, Nathan Harris and Damian McKenzie all crossing over. The late surge saw the hosts head into the tunnel 19-14 ahead. Bernard Foley kept the Australians within touching distance with an early penalty after the break but Tony Pulu hit back for the Chiefs. The TAHs, however, weren't going to go down without a fight with Kurt Lee Beal replying with a try of his own to reduce the deficit to two points in an entertaining blow-by-blow -blow contest. It didn't take long though for Pulu and McKenzie to rub some more salt in the wounds, ensuring the Chiefs return to winning ways after their Kings Park loss last weekend. The Waratahs came close to securing their second consecutive win over New Zealand opposition and can hold their heads up high as they prepare to take on the Reds next. Jaguares 29-13 Sharks Jaguares defeated Coastal Sharks 29-13 in Buenos Aires for a sixth straight win and Melbourne Rebels triumphed 40-13 at home to Sun Wolves in other round 15 matches. The Argentine outfit, watched by the biggest crowd to attend a Super Rugby match in the South American city, are experiencing a dramatic turnaround. Having lost five of seven matches early in the season, they won all four on a tour of Australasia followed by home victories against Northern Bulls and Sharks. Trailing 17-0 after half an hour, Sharks scored just before halftime and a couple of second-half Robert Dupree's penalties cut the gap to just four points. The key score came nine minutes from time when Moyano broke from his own half and a perfectly timed pass sent Del Guy over. Jaguares star fly half Nicolas Sanchez contributed 9 points from the boot to go second in the points scorers chart behind Dupree's. Shark skipper Ruan Botha was red carded 6 minutes from time after his shoulder charge struck an Argentine head. Crusaders 24-13 Hurricanes The Crusaders ended the Hurricanes' 10-match winning streak in tough conditions at the Emmy Stadium in Christchurch on Friday morning. 
With poor weather forecast, it was always going to be tough for the two teams to play their natural attacking games with points hard to come by in the first half. The deadlock was finally broken in the 23rd minute when Scott Barrett burrowed his way over from close range after a patient build-up from the Crusaders forwards. The visitors added two penalties to head into the break a point behind. The second half saw the Crusaders run away with the game able to handle the conditions much better than the visitors, Michael Ola Alato and Hayden Bedwell Curtis both scored for the hosts to extend their lead to 24-6 with less than 15 minutes to go. Reed Princep finally broke through for the Hurricanes in the 72nd minute but it was too little too late with the Crusaders able to deliver a wet weather rugby masterclass. Rebels 40-13 Sun Wolves The Rebels brought the Sun Wolves back to earth and kept their playoff hopes alive with a runaway victory on Friday. The visitors burst through the gates with an early try through Lamana Lamiki in only the second minute but the Rebels hit back with three of their own with Marika Koroibit, Jack Maddox and Aminaki Mathi all getting on the scoreboard to give the hosts a 21-13 at halftime. Maddox and Koroibit put the game to bed with another two tries each with the Japanese franchise failing to add any points in the second half to hand the hosts a convincing win. As a result, the Rebels have maintained the pressure on the war toss at the top of the Australian Conference. Latest Super Rugby Table Asterisk Table will update automatically standings provided by SoFast Score Live Score.